Hey guys, my name's Ty Brown. I'm here. Uh, I got a video I'm gonna do uh, show you how I anneal brass. Um, I've seen you know people use a straight flame to do it, and you know you can over you can overcook your brass. Uh, I've seen the salt, the molten salt annealing, and I thought about doing that, and then I was here working at the house, and it hit me all of a sudden. Well, you know what we're trying to do is just heat up the the neck of it. So what I did was. Um, I took an old eight millimeter um, uh, socket. And I took a Dremel tool and I rounded it out. And what I've done is I've made a lot of, uh, I've converted a lot of uh, 223 brass into 300 blackout, and I made it where it will just fit inside. It'll just set inside here. So um, what I did is I've got I've got an extension here, ones that you got to be willing to throw away because you, you're really heating it up high, and to get this. Uh, to stay in place, this uh, the um, socket, I had to take and pound. Um, I have some thin um, copper sheet or thin metal sheet, and I would pound it in and actually make a tight bushing on both pieces. If not, this would pull out. Um, what I've done is every now and then, if you get in there too thick, too tight, or too far in, it'll get really tight, and you have to actually pull it out. Um, because uh, I think this is actually swelling inside because it, when the heat it expands. So um, anyway, what I do is I turn this the, the butane the torch on and it heats up this socket. It get, it'll get it glowing hot. And then what I do is I take this in, put it in, and about 10 seconds later, it'll it will um, actually get it hot enough uh, to I believe it gets a pretty good anneal on it. It actually changes the color of the tip. And then I just drop it into a bucket of water. Um, but anyway, well, let me get my little system set up here. I'll um, show you how it works here. Just um, I gotta get everything set up and ready to go. Okay, guys, you can see here it's I got it set up, got it running. You see it's just cherry hot there. So I just take a a, a bullet or a casing, lay it in there. I count to ten. And pull it out, and you can tell it has changed color. I don't. If you push it in tight, it'll it'll actually lock itself in there. I think say I like to say I think it's swelling up because it's getting hot. But you can see it start to change color. I drop it down in there. But I, I'm not sure if you can tell the color change there, but it's definitely changing. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you the way I do it. It's uh, cheap. It's you know, I've probably got the biggest thing I got in is, is the torch, and I've had that a while, so um, it works really well. It didn't cost me but a couple bucks, and uh, it just sitting here in front of the TV, watch TV, doing this. It, yeah, I can do a, 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 a hundred or so in, in about 15, 20 minutes. So anyway, I thought I'd just show you the way I did it. Um, I hope the video helps, and y'all have a good day.